technical writing has seven major characteristics. Number one, it addresses particular readers. Perhaps the most significant characteristic of technical communication or technical writing is that it uh, addresses particular readers. For instance, if you are planning to write a proposal for someone, you will think about his or her job responsibilities, the level of detail he or she would be interested in reading, and personal factors with such as uh, history with the organization and attitudes toward your ideas. These factors can help you decide what kind of document to write, how to structure it, how much detail to include, and what sentence style and vocabulary to use. If you are writing to several people whose backgrounds and needs vary, you will want to structure the document so that they can easily locate and understand the information they seek. If you do not know the reader, you can create an audience profile. For example, if readers of your brochure or uh, police officer responsible for uh, purchases, you don't know their gender or age or other uh, personal characteristics but you know that they share a police background and a common responsibility for approving expenditures. Remember also that your writing might be read by people who never intended as your audience, managers and executives in your organization, the public or the press. Avoid writing anything that will embarrass you or your organization if someone for uh, whom it was not intended sees it. Now number two characteristic is that uh, it should help readers solve problems. Technical communication is not meant to express a writer's creativity or to entertain readers. It is intended to help readers learn or do something. For instance, you need your company's employee benefits manual to help you decide which benefits package you should select. You read it. In other words, because you need information to help you analyze a situation and solve a problem. Number three is, it reflects an organization's goals and culture. This is characteristic of uh, a technical communication or technical writing. This is number three. Technical communication further an organization's goals. For example, a state government department that oversees vocational education programs submits an annual report to the state legislature as well as a lot of technical information for the public that is flyers, brochures, pamphlets, radio and television advertisements and course materials such as texts, workbooks and web pages. These documents help the department secure its funding and reach its audience. Technical communication also reflects an organization's culture. Some organizations have a rigid hierarchy and uh, expect employees to write only to their immediate supervisors and to others on their own level. For example, and, and to format their documents in a particular way. In other organizations, the culture permits or even encourages employees to make their own decisions on these questions. Now, number four point is about uh, the produced 
collaborate collaborative uh, collaboratively although you will often work alone in writing some documents you will probably work as part of a team when producing more complicated documents collaboration can uh, range from having colleague review your two pages memo to working with uh, a team of a dozen technical professionals and technical communications on a 200 page catalog collaboration is common in technical communication because no one person has all the information skills or time to create a large document writers editors designers and production specialists work with subject matter experts that is the various technical professionals to create a better document than the one of them could have made working alone successful collaboration requires interpersonal skills you have to listen to uh, listen to people with other views and from other business and ethics cultures express yourself clearly and diplomatically and compromise number 5 the fifth characteristic it uses design to increase readability technical communicators use design features that is typography spacing color special paper and so forth to accomplish three basic purposes one purpose is to make the document look attractive and professional if the document attracts the reader and creates a positive impression you are more likely to accomplish your goal the second purpose to help the reader navigate the document because a technical document can be long and complicated and most readers want to read only parts of it design features such as headings color or highlighting help readers see where they are and get where they want to be and the third purpose is to help the reader understand the document for instance if all the safety warnings in a manual appear in a color and size different from the rest of the text readers will be better able to recognize the importance of the information now we move to the uh, sixth uh, characteristic of the technical writing most technical documents include words and graphics in technical communication graphics help the writer perform five main functions one is make the document more interesting and appealing to readers second is communicate and re reinforce difficult concepts three is third is communicate instructions and descriptions of objects and processes fourth is communicate large co amounts of quantifiable data and the fifth is communicate with non native speakers and the final characteristic of the technical writing is that it produces it is produced using high tech tools virtually every technical document created these days from from emails to large manuals was uh, made using high tech tools such as the personal computer technical 
communicators rely on word processing graphics and desktop publishing software. As information technology becomes more powerful, easier to use, and less expensive, technical communicators and technical professionals alike continuously upgrade their skills. For more details, I would ask you to visit my website at asifjme.com. I also invite you to visit my blog at uh, asifjme.wordpress.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Having, have a wonderful day.